Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College. This is EET 121 Digital One. Today we're going to discuss the universal NOR gate. Um, we've already seen this in the Floyd Labs 4 and 5, but I just want to go through this one more time. Uh, for memory, our NOR gate is just like an OR gate, except it's got this little negation bubble right there, where A and B are our inputs, X is our output. And basically, it is a not or. And, um, you know, because an or would look like that's an or. So we're talking about the not or. We're talking about this guy. Okay, so what would happen if you tied the input gates together for a not or, where they both had the same input? Well, you'd get is an inverted output because we'd be in this situation where a zero and zero are coming in zero not or zero would be a one so you're getting an inversion so if a zero came in you get one out same thing here where it's a one and a one we're putting in both a one and a one you would get out a zero right there one zero so that is a NOR gate tied the inputs together and made a NOT gate out of it. Okay, so if you if your recipe calls for 35 NOT gates, and then you look in the pantry and there's only 34 NOT gates and a lonely little NOR, well, what you do, tie the inputs together, and there you go. That's the 35th NOR gate, okay? Next one is, well, the basics is if that's a not or a b and what's coming out here is a not or why not put an inverter well let's just do the the regular plain old vanilla inverter first why not put an inverter at the end and what you get is the inversion of this, which is a double knot. Well, I should put that over here, actually. A double knot, but we know through our laws of Boolean algebra that those negate each other, and what you get is an A or B out. And as we said over here, we can use the uh, tying our inputs together. For our NOR gate, so basically a NOR gate followed by another NOR gate with its inputs tied together is the equivalent of an OR. So this circuit right here. Okay, for an AND, okay, if we remember right, a NOR gate is often referred to as a negative AND. Okay, so if you think about this, if you want to make an AND gate, why not put inverters on the input so it's a and b no excuse me a coming in what's there is a not a what's there is a not b and if you could think about this no or is a not or use our de morgan's theorem okay so what you're getting here is the inversion this thing is going to invert it again what you're going to get here is the output is A and B. So we can redraw this guy as those are still our, our inverted inputs. Because remember, the nor is the same thing as a negative and. So we can redraw it like this. But we can also, from using our knots up here, why not redraw it like this? Where these guys are nor gates with their inputs tied together so that is the implementation of an and gate using three nor gates you're inverting the inputs and feeding it into a nor gate okay uh last one how do you make a uh what is it oh a nand gate how do you make a nand gate well why not just put a if this is an and gate right here where it's two inverted inputs feeding into a NOR. 
why not just invert the output there? That's a nor, by the way. So this is the implementation of a NAND using nor gets. Okay? So if your recipe calls for a NAND to be implemented between these points here, what you can do is replace it with this whole thing right here. If you've got a bunch of NOR gates that you want to use, you can replace it with that. Same thing uh, as we had in our universal NAND gate discussion. Okay, so we're going to talk about using the NAND NOR gates in combinational logic. And if you could uh, imagine the next step, just think about replacing AND gates and OR gates and NAND gates and NOTs with their NOT with their NORs and their NAND equivalents, okay?